Excuse me, cowboy. Blah. Okay. Squirrel. Whoa. Uh... Howdy, partner. Hello, boys and girls of YouTube. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm Brian. You're on the BS Adventure Channel. Today, we're going to get back into the van. It's going to be a good one, guys. If you want to see me get frustrated and fail terribly, this is your video. Let's roll. You guys hear the tornado siren? That's kind of fun. I didn't get emergency warning yet. I'm just going to keep rolling. I threw all these bricks off the other day and I'm going to load them up and put them back in the woods. Oh yeah, I have recycling to take. Forgot about that. Okay, no tornadoes. I got that all cleaned up. My little little Cheeto boogers that were over here where the van was parked, I picked all those up. Okay, so I uh, brought the van up top. And I just gave the roof a quick little clean again. There was a bunch of debris and shit from when I had those bricks on there. When I was doing the foam insulation. I got this sealer. I think I'm going to coat the roof tomorrow. So I wanted just to tidy that up. I'm going to go work on something else right now though. So I washed the roof, I showed you that. I brought the van back down because I'm installing the gray water tank. I was just kind of checking it out and I think it's gonna work pretty good. So you probably can't see much. There's the all thread it's hanging from and the brackets. A little bracket, right there. And if you look, it's like pretty much flush with the underside of the van. So that should work good. I'll show you from the inside, maybe you can see it better. Excuse me, cowboy. So that's where the tank will be. Um, that's a little, that's a valve, one-way valve. I think that's gonna work good. It uses a, like a membrane inside instead of using a P-trap, because a P-trap, you know, as you drive, the water might slosh out of it and then your shower stinks like gray water. So if you're wondering, the gray water tank is a 10 gallon. Can you read that? And it has two, large ports and then two small ports these you have to cut and then these are open i'll probably put a vent on this one and it probably put a drain on this one i imagine we'll see we'll figure it out we'll cross that bridge when we get there Blah. okay so i worked on that tank and then uh, i think i'm gonna squirrel uh, I'm easily distracted is my point. I'm gonna uh, just throw a couple screws in this rattle. That rattly piece of shit. That's the, uh, that's the heat shield for the exhaust. Yeah. Caden, honk the horn. No. Honk the horn. No. Honk the horn. No. Do the one under here, do this one. No. Do the other one. No. Do the other one. No. Do this one. in the ground. I have to get in the house. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. Today is tomorrow. I don't know what I, what I recorded yesterday. I don't even remember. Maybe I didn't record. Uh, I was working on the wiring in the back of this. I had mentioned it earlier and just never gotten to it. Tracing all this down and rewiring all this stuff. So I went through and cleaned up all the wiring here. This was all a janky mess. So that's all redone. I can tape that nice. And then some janky stuff back here. These guys are just loosey goosey. And um, I still don't have tail lights. I got to figure that out. I realized like an hour in or two hours in my multimeter had a bad wire. So... All the testing I did is for not because I don't know if it was testing correctly because the wire on the multimeter is bad. Whoa, Ooh, there's a hole there. Something like a groundhog digging here? This is like hollow, trippy. Okay, Ooh. that's weird. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, the other day, uh, this, this heat shield for the exhaust. I put some screws in it. It doesn't rattle, you know does that but it doesn't rattle so a couple screws there a couple screws there that was easy i just i forgot to to film the when it was done the after part when it was all done 
Ooh, storm. There's some tornado warnings going on, and there's a thunderstorm, and uh, I don't feel like getting lit up by thunder, so, or thunder, <laughs> lightning, yeah. I think lightning hurts more than thunder, probably. Anyways, I don't want to get sucked up in a tornado. I'm sure you'd hear it coming. So I'm gonna go hang out inside for a little while, let that pass. Ooh, that was a good one. Gonna hang out by the door and watch it because storms are cool. Oh, if I die, love you guys. It's raining. These clouds are moving quick. I'll do a little time lapse here. Yeah, so check out how fast these things are going. Obviously, this is sped up a little bit, but it's pretty wild. So I guess there's a lot of moisture and heat, and that rises up, and then you get these like roll, is rolling storm, rolling winds or something. You get a hot and a cold, and it stands that funnel up, and then you get a tornado. Uh, I didn't know they had those out here. I thought that was like a Kansas, Oklahoma kind of thing, but apparently they get them in the southeast too. This is this is the second or third time this week we've had tornado warnings, or maybe it's last week. Anyway. Rained a little bit. Hey guys, new day. That storm passed. So I think I'm gonna attempt to possibly coat this roof today on the van. I've got some goop I'm gonna put on there. I really don't know much about it. So I need to read the instructions. Ooh, wow and figure out what I need to do. So let me move this thing. We'll get the ladder out, climb up on the roof, and we'll figure out what we need to do, see if this is a possibility. Ooh, unboxing. Oh, what's in the box? Is it stuff? It's hard to do one-handed. Come on. Hello, wind. Okay. Oh, here's the stuff. Oh, it's open. Oh, that's sweet. Hmm. Oh, I might be out of luck on this. It might... Oh, yep. <laughs> well, shit. Guess I'm not doing the roof today. Fuck me. <sighs> Go figure. Fucking Amazon. Nice job packing that, guys. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess that's what you get when you pay people jack shit and work them to the bone. Okay, so back to the taillight wiring. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I need to figure out a return on this Amazon. Ugh, God damn it. My multimeter shit the bed a month or two ago and ended up in the trash because it was unfixable and it, it's kind of a cheap one. So this is actually my pops multimeter I've been using and it's the one with the bad wire. It's, I figured out it's this ground here. So the solution I kind of came up with, I'll show you. Sorry about that noisy air conditioner. Nothing really I can do about that. So I figured out, pull the wire this way. Thought I had a, another wire, another set of plugs, but can't find them. So I would see if she's consistent. Problem solved. Okay, back to testing. I was working back here a little bit or trying to, and I don't really need it to be down at the back of the house to do that and the air conditioner is just so noisy, it creates terrible audio for filming. So I'm gonna move the van to the top. Okay guys, so I've been working on this tail light wiring, trying to figure this out, and I don't know, it's a, I don't know if it's this one. It might be this orange one. I'm not really sure which one. Let's see. Yeah, I have to. I have to test these guys here. I want to retest these ones in the back, maybe. These ones. Here. I'm not sure. Is that one? <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. That's all the wiring we pulled out of the shuttle bus, my dad's bus. So this thing had a ton of wiring in the roof here air conditioners lights all kinds of shit and then it had a big huge harness up here and we went through and figured out what we need to keep which is basically tail lights opera lights on the outside and an electric locking door and the electric side door that's the only things he needed to keep so we thinned that whole harness out of this thing 
he did most of it. I just was more moral support on that one. I just thought it was funny because doesn't that look hilarious? That might be my thumbnail this week. Okay, guys, on this week's unboxing episode, I already opened this one. Sorry. Some butt connectors. And then I think that what's in here, I think this is... So this is good for patching where I'm testing wires and stuff. Anywhere where I poke a hole or cut the wire, this is this goop you can brush on and um, it'll seal your electrical tape, or your, or your electrical tape, it'll seal your insulation and then you don't have like a nicked wire that'll corrode. So that's the idea of that. I'm gonna get back to doing this wiring. The mail truck broke down in the driveway. Poor guy sitting out there, it's a hot day, waiting for his replacement, but he gets to go home early, so that's a win. And then they'll tow the mail truck out of here. He did bring my packages though. Okay, seriously, seriously. All right, so I'm actually trying to fix this tail light wiring today instead of just goofing around. Howdy partner, excuse me. So there is a bunch of melted wiring. Here's the harness. Runs along the frame, goes all the way to the back, to the tail lights, and then I followed it all the way up here, and that's this is the exhaust here, and then this is the harness, and this harness is laying on the exhaust, and it has some melted wires. So I'm going to dig into this today. It's a gross, dirty mess, but I'm going to dig into it, repair the wires that are damaged, and see if that fixes my tail light issue, because I don't know if that is the issue, but regardless, that needs to be repaired. So... There's not much to see under here. I'm just gonna lay in the dirt and grease and oil and do some wiring. Yay. Morning guys, brand new day. I gotta return this box. This is that, um, that the uh, coating for the roof that came damaged. So I'm gonna return that so that supplier can send me, send me another box. So I'm gonna get rolling on that this morning and then we'll continue from there. Okay, got that sent back. So hopefully I'll get sent get sent new coating for my roof here soon, and then I can work on that. Let's go over to Harbor Freight, since I'm here, and see if there's anything I can't live without. Okay, so back from errands. Got that package dropped off. Went to Harbor Freight, priced out some items that I'll be using on the van in the future. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It's not gonna be for your be for a while <laughs> but it's gonna be fun when it happens and then uh, I went to a couple thrift stores because I have another crazy idea so I picked up some of these lace doilies or lace table coverings I think doily is the wrong term but so if you're into hot rods or kind of low rider culture you might know what I'm gonna do with these it's not gonna be on the Suburban Maybe you noticed the paint on this hood is garbage. So there might be something going on with that in the future. That'll be kind of a fun little video I'll throw together. I have some ideas. So I got a couple of these, two different, two different patterns, two different styles. Huh? Huh? See what's gonna happen? Isn't that cool? Some ideas. What else did I grab? What else did I grab? Aaron's, ooh, coffee, gotta have coffee. I just picked this up from a local coffee shop. And then I got these little guys at a thrift shop. These will be kind of fun. Put these in the kitchen or something. They're little dragonfly LEDs. Little battery guys. So that'll go in down the road at some point. So that's my little goodie run. I'll probably actually get to work on that wiring I've been talking about and procrastinating about continuously. Maybe I'll actually do something with it here. So I went to check the blinker and brake lights and see which ones those are and make sure I have a functioning light and then plug that in to the tail light plug to whatever. Turn the key on and I get this uh, super fun poltergeist shit. Oh, now it's not doing it. It was freaking out before. Battery's dead. Probably from testing the lights a million times.
Hmm. Oh, there we go. Gotta love the old school dumb chargers. I prefer them. So I'll let that charge for a while and see what else I can figure out. I'm kind of frustrated, honestly. No tail lights. So I checked my harness back there. No power back there. Figured out which wire it is. Check the harness all the way up, basically underneath the floor in the truck. It's about as far as up as I can follow it. No power there. Now I did figure out my switch works fine. My relay works. And then there's two fuses here, left and rear tail lights, and those fuses have power. And then I also figured out on the body control module which pin provides a ground, and I verified that I have a good ground there with the switch. So obviously, not obviously, it appears to me there's a bad wire somewhere between this system and where it goes under the vehicle and to the back. Day 47, still stranded on no tail light island. Uh, don't know what I'm gonna do. Might write help in the sand. I'll figure it out, but not today. Will I get off the island? Will I figure it out? Check back next time to find out the answer. Ahoo ho, guys.